Okay, um, we want to learn how to use your calculator the right way, so one of the things you need to be able to do is store a function. I mean, that's that's about as useful as it's going to get. So the first one we'll do is um, a function that finds principal coterminal angles. Um, so I'm going to call it p coterm and then uh, degrees. So I'm going to name it that, in parentheses, and it's going to take an argument, and I'm going to call it x. Get out of the parentheses. Now I need to um, set it equal, whoops. I need to set it equal to, so I'm control, and then the templates gives me colon equals. Um, so now I'm defining a function rather than just saying things are equal to each other. And what I want is um, to take the angle, and then I want to take the, um, I want to subtract off the greatest integer less than or equal to the angle divided by 360. So. On the calculator, I'm going to type floor, which is actually another way of saying the greatest integer less than or equal to. And then x over 360. And then I multiply that by 360. Um, now I want to check this. What I do is I go to the bar key, and that's where every function that I store is going to be. So I do that, and let's see. If I put in 370, I should get 10 back. And let's check one more positive. If I put in 750. I should get 30 back, and I do. And then what's nice about this is if I put in, let's say, negative uh, 90, I'm expecting to get 270 back, and I do. Uh, so that's doing what I need it to. And I also have this you know, really nice function stored on my calculator. Um, and you should be able to think of other applications for that right off the bat without uh, anyone telling you anything. So I hope you find that uh, interesting. Um, and good luck with it.